Hey boys and girls, Ray from loveyourrv.com and welcome to camping on the Oregon coast in November. <laughs> A tad bit wet. <laughs> this is the campsite next to us. Might be a little uh, hard to start a fire. <laughs> but it is a gorgeous place. We're just making our way south uh, along the Oregon coast, headed back down to the desert. I um, just wanted to, to give you a look at uh, a failure I had not too long ago. You know, there's a little pretty creek going back down to the ocean there. Um, our uh, RV refrigerator packed it in. Unfortunately, we were just ready to leave, so I'm kind of glad it did at that time because we had an extended warranty on our RV. When we bought our RV, uh, I guess it's over five years now, ago now, we bought a six-year extended warranty on top of the manufacturer's warranty. So uh, I was quite happy about that when the fridge packed it in because what happened is uh, you can see the black piping on the new one here. Um, just in here, it leaked and it was uh, coming down. Um, the ammonia leaked out of that piping, and once that's gone, you need a whole new cooling unit, which is super expensive. Um, our dealer elected to actually just replace the whole fridge, so we have a, a brand spanking new fridge. Uh, the original warranty cost us around 1500 bucks, but uh, um, this fridge will easily uh, pay for that, so it's kind of nice because we didn't have to. Uh, be out of pocket for it right now um, but I did manage the reason I wanted to post this video is I did manage to capture the failure in progress um, the thing was starting to act up a little bit beforehand um, it wasn't cooling near as well and for one day it quit and I thought okay that's it it's dead then it came back and started working again and then I had just called the dealer to take it in to have it looked at and about an hour later the the piping somewhere up there ruptured so let me just show you the video of, I captured of the the ammonia leaking leaking out of that fridge here we go unfortunately our uh, refrigerator just gave up the ghost it's been uh, not cooling very well for a few days now and I heard it uh, starting to kind of a fizzing sound and you can see uh, you can hear the ammonia, there's an ammonia leak in there, so I turned off all the gas and electricity and hoping it uh, cools down and doesn't uh, catch on fire or anything. Got some fire extinguishers handy just in case, but uh, you can see it dripping from uh, in the uh, flue there. Instantly evaporating when it hits. So it looks like somewhere in the, the cooling unit uh, there's a leak and it's uh, caused a major problem. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to get it fixed under warranty. The rig does have a, a six year warranty and there's still two years left on it. So hoping this isn't going to be a big cost. Kind of glad it happened before we head south. Well that was pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> So if you ever smell ammonia, like when that was happening, it just reeked like ammonia gas. So if you ever smell that, get out of your RV, unplug your power, because your fridge is likely melting down like that, and uh, get it looked at right away. I kept the little Beagle well away, because she has a sensitive nose. Anyway, I just thought that'd be a cool thing to show you. Um, we're uh, on our way down south, so uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, I got a couple review videos to do and maybe some trip reports. So uh, until next time, this is Ray and Angelina from LoveYourRV.com. Take it easy. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Good time to come if you like an empty campground, that's for sure. Time to take the Beagle for a walk on the beach.